Wow, this is a whopper of a package and I can't even fit it in the camera shot for you. Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie for today's unboxing. And this diamond painting does have a very special meaning for me and I'm going to share the story with you today. Let's get the package open. I always say be very careful how you open your diamond painting packages because you never quite know where the canvas is and if you see here it is quite close to the edge of the box so do keep that in mind when you're opening your own packages at home. Right let's see about getting all of the goodies out. I will show you the diamonds in more detail as we go through the video. Oh my goodness, it's very tightly packed in here. <laughs> oh. Eve, there's the canvas. And here come more diamonds. Oh yes, there's more. And more. Phew. Right, we'll put the box aside. Well, I can't believe what happened. I did a whole video unboxing, explained everything, showed you everything, and it wasn't recording. So when I came to edit, there was nothing to see. So I am redoing this to show you this amazing canvas, and I am so thrilled with it. So I'm looking forward to showing you it again. <laughs> I will put the diamonds aside and we'll talk about those in a minute. But let's focus on this amazing picture and I will explain once I've shown you a little bit of it why I've ordered this one. First of all, let me say the whole picture will not fit on screen so I will have to show you bit by bit and you'll understand why when you see the size of this is a 90 by 98 centimetre and it is a square diamond painting and it is a custom. So yes, I have chosen to get this picture done as a custom and as I say, I will explain why when you've seen the picture. So I'm going to unravel as much as I can and show you, first of all, the top of this diamond painting with this whimsical village. It is so fab. You can see the different houses. You can probably see the two gingerbread people here and all of those details as well. I think it's a sweetie land because I can see like what look like big lollipop trees and those gorgeous houses with details on, you know, like um, sweetie houses that you imagine living in as a child. So as I roll it further down, you see here a swirly cloud. There we are, swirly cloud. Rolling down into more detail at the bottom. It is so big, it's quite heavy to hold up. So I'll take out the foam roller in the middle of it. Put that aside and see if mm, you can't still see it all. Right, so hopefully you can see that going through the middle of this big picture is a tree and it branches off into different details and you can see a fairy here 
and some toadstools at the bottom here and some flowers and on this side more toadstools and some children and a very special character here and that will probably give you a clue as to what this diamond painting is all about. <laughs> oh, I love it. I am going to try and get this canvas a little bit flatter while I tell you why I chose to order this as a custom picture. So I'm very loosely rolling it the other way, just giving it a little bit of help to try and lay a bit flatter. Now this diamond painting has a very special meaning for me. As a little girl, I read two books over and over again and I think if you recognize that character you will know exactly which books I am talking about let me show you the two books are the enchanted wood and the magic faraway tree and these two books were what I read as a little girl over again and over again. And there's the character I was telling you about. There he is, Moonface. <laughs> I read these all the time. And then when my sister was born, I read them to her for her bedtime stories. And then when I had my son, I also read them to him as well. They are fantastic books and lots of and lots of adventures to do with the magic faraway tree, which was a tree, very magic. You can see there's a door, lots of characters live up this tree. And right at the top, there is a cloud which comes and goes and brings different lands to the top of the tree. And the children climb up the tree and are able to go into those lands, not knowing which land is at the top, until they get there and sometimes they can be lovely lands like our sweetie village with our gingerbread men friends at the top or it could be really horrible and they had to go to school and things like that so really exciting adventures but that what's that got to do with this picture well one of my favorite artists is called Kerry Darlington and she does 3D resin pictures and I am lucky to own one of them. I've also got a limited edition for Mary Poppins from her and she did this amazing faraway tree picture and I wasn't quick enough to get a limited edition of it. So I contacted the gallery and asked for Kerry's permission to use the artwork and make it into a diamond painting. And it's so exciting because she agreed for me to use the artwork and create this amazing canvas. And that's why this one is a 90 by 98 because I wanted to get it as close to the limited edition, the artwork that Kerry produced I wanted to get it as near as possible. So that's what I've done and this is it. And there are so many details. You may be able to see down here is like a stream of water and that's Dame Washalot and she's emptying out all her dirty washing water down the tree and people had to run away so that they didn't get soaked. And um, the fairy lives in the tree. There is also the angry man that the children sometimes tease a little bit because he doesn't like to be disturbed in his tree. Now you may also see these circles dotted around or a very random banana. 
Now, Kerry uses details in her paintings to make them 3D and stand out. So that is what these details are in the picture. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that yet, but my head is already ticking with ideas. So you need to keep tuned in to see what I end up doing with this one. And it is so special. It has such special meaning for me. And I'm absolutely thrilled that Kerry agreed very, very kindly for me to use her artwork for this. So where did I get it from? I actually got it from AliExpress. I contacted three different sellers and I sent them the artwork. They all sent me a picture to show what it would look like. And I chose Rachel Machui. And one of the reasons is not only because it's so fabulous with the details that she's managed to get into it, but also I asked for as many colours as possible. And this one, if you look down this right hand side, you will see how many, and I will show you the diamonds in a minute. So keep your eyes on that right hand side while I push the diamond painting up. It's still going, it's still going, it's still going. Ta-da! There are so many colours in this, 120 colours. Ah, I love it! Oh, and if you've seen my Josephine Wall videos, you'll know that I love lots of colours because the blending is so fabulous. And with those Josephine Wall pictures from Diamond Painting Deutschland, it gives like a watercolour effect with all of that blending. So I'm hoping to get something quite similar with this canvas too. Let's have a closer look. Shall we have a look at Moonface? Here he is. Now look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see all of the different colours in his face there? Just fabulous. And the children can see their skin tones. I'm hoping that when that's diamond painted, that looks very realistic. Because you know sometimes with these customs, Skin, skin tones can look a little bit orangey, but these look really good on the printed canvas. So I'm hoping when the diamonds stick on that that detail remains. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started on this one. I'll show you the chart a bit closer up so you can see. Look, oh wow. It does look very clear. Although I can see some numbers there, 62, 65, 66. <laughs> so it looks like a whole mix of numbers and symbols. Wow, we've got some 80s here. 83. <laughs> Very different. It's a beautiful butterfly that. I think that was probably one of the 3D elements from Kerry's painting too. I think I'm going to have to have another look at the photograph to see which bits were 3D on her original paintings. I think, see, there's a, a random shape here. I think that will have been. And if you can see there, there's some shading. So definitely. But what do you think? I think it's so sweet, especially the sweetie village at the top of the tree. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the detail that this tree will bring out in the diamond painting because I, I think there's some hidden things here that will really pop when the diamonds sit on. Let's have a quick look at the fairy before we look at the diamonds. So here she is. And you can see the wings there. Now, I don't think there's any AB in this kit, but I'm quite tempted to make some of her AB. But I, I'm going to reserve judgment on that. Um, I will be starting top right as usual. So by the time I get down here, I'll have a good feel of how the um, diamonds fit. Because I suppose it would also be nice in that swirly cloud. 
because that's such a magical element of the faraway tree. I just love the roofs of that village. I mean, if you look here, you've got like the little tiles here. You've got like a dome roof. So every single house is different in different colors as well. Oh, it's just lovely. Right, let's have a look at the diamonds. Actually, before we look at the diamonds, let's have a quick look at the toolkit that was provided. So straight away, we can see that we've got some bent nose tweezers. They are metal, quite basic, quite flimsy, but um, usable. I probably won't use these because I prefer the needle nose tweezers, but nice to have in a toolkit. We have got a funnel tray, one of my favourites to get in and out of this uh, Tic Tac storage. We have lots of pink wax, three good sized slabs there. We have two basic diamond pens, both with multi placers. They look like probably four placers. So nice to get two pens. I suppose the diamond painting is so big that you could actually do this one with a friend if you wanted to share. And then we get some baggies. Not many, let's have a quick count. Eight bags all together. So eight little baggies. And it's all in this nice self steel pouch. Fine, usable kit. These are all of the diamonds that we managed to finally get out of the box. <laughs> so four packs of diamonds and they are packed full. And here is the list of what is in the kit. So take that out. I mean, just look at pack one. Lovely, lovely colours. When I did the first recording, I didn't record, <laughs> I actually counted down all of the colours without realising that I had this sheet. <laughs> and then I found it, I was like, oh, didn't need to count up them all because it tells us on this sheet everything we need to know. And there we are, we've got 90 colours on this sheet and 30 on this one. So having a closer look, here is the picture so you may be able to see a lot more detail in that picture. Just lovely. And looking at the information we've got, we've got the picture, we've got all of the colours that are included, what symbol it is, the DMC number, how many we'll be using and how many bags of each. So I love getting these, I find them so useful. And it's great to see what the majority of the colours are in the kit. This one also gives you the instructions if you've never diamond painted before. So looking at this, I can already see that three tens <laughs> have 64 little bags of diamonds and I'm going to be putting 12,749 three tens on this diamond painting. I was quite surprised at that because if you look at the picture, it doesn't really look that black. However, what I noticed was that all of the tree detail has a black within it to bring out that detail. I'll show you the canvas again a bit closer so you'll see what I mean about that. But 120 colours is fabulous. Now, originally I was thinking, okay, 120 colours, I'm going to do my Tic Tac storage for this because I'll be able to get 64 in one box and the remainder in the other. However, seeing the fact that we've, we know which ones are the most, I am now tempted to use my Elizabeth Ward storage. 
So I'm having a little battle with myself <laughs> about which storage to use for this one because I'm still working on my Diamond Art Club picture, Partners in Crime, using my Elizabeth Ward. So it'll probably be, end up being Tic Tac boxes for this one. We'll see which one wins out. As I mentioned when I showed you the canvas, these are square diamonds and they are all in these little packs. Now I used to find these really frustrating until I did the Pokemon diamond painting. And what I found was that sometimes it's actually easier having this amount in a pack, because if you know you're doing a larger area, you can open this pack and not even bother with your storage until you're just putting the remainder back in. So I found it quite a quick way to diamond paint. So they don't bother me as much as they did now. In this pack, you can see we've got some beautiful pinks, corals, look at that beautiful colour, teals, oranges, I mean with 120 colours we're going to have a great selection. Look at this, ooh, 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 ooh. this is like the bright pack isn't it, they pop, bright yellow, bright green, bright orange, bright, well that's like a red orange, lime green, just stunning, stunning colours. So beautiful. And it continues with more yellows, more oranges, purples, blues, pinks, reds, and of course, the 310. And finally... Ta-da! Wow! It's fabulous. Look at that. So all of these colours together are going to be amazing. I just know that this diamond painting is going to be fabulous to work on. All right, let's have a closer look at that canvas again. Imagine these bright colours, these bright colours on this canvas. Let's have a look at the three tens. The three tens are all of these symbols here, these little strokes going from right to left. So you can see that it's picking out the tree detail throughout. So that is going to be fun to diamond paint because it's not like block three tens. It's a bit like an outline, isn't it? Really, really gorgeous. Now, of course, I am used to working on the velveteen backed canvases now. I'm a little bit spoilt with Spell Queen. Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club. This one, of course, being a custom, is back to like the basic canvas, but this one feels really good quality, feels quite sturdy, and I think it would need to be sturdy for such a big picture as this one when it hangs on the wall. So pulling back the sticky to have a little look. I'm really having to pull that back. It is really, really sticky. So a great custom picture from Rachel Machui on AliExpress, really impressed and I sent the photo, they sent the picture how it should look and then I ordered it. This one was the most expensive, I think because it had the most colours in and it cost me £63 delivered. But I think it is well worth it. And I look forward to showing you more of it when I get diamond painting this one. So do subscribe, do stay with me and do enjoy your own diamond painting. Till next time, take care. Bye.